Greetings and welcome to another episode of Canadian History X. Today, I launch a new series of history episodes called Penny Size History, where I do quick dives into a historical topic. Canada is known for many large bodies of water, Great Slave Lake, Lake Winnipeg, and of course, the Great Lakes. There was one lake though that was so large, it was called a sea. And while portions of it still exist, the sea itself is long gone. Today, we call it the Champlain Sea. As glaciers retreated during the last ice age, the temporary inlet of the Atlantic Ocean was created thanks to the large depression in the land created by the weight of the glaciers. Covering a vast area, the future city sites of Ottawa, Montreal, and Quebec City were all underwater, along with other large portions of Quebec, Ontario, and the states of New York and Vermont. In all, it covered an estimated 55,000 square kilometers and was somewhat salty. Lasting for 3,000 years, the sea existed from about 11,000 BCE to 8,000 BCE. The sea was at its largest at the beginning of its existence and shrunk continually as the land began to rise above sea level over time. During its largest extent, the sea was around 500 feet below the level of the current St. Lawrence and Ottawa rivers. Early on, it was a cold sea, but as time went on, it began to warm up. The sea also left huge swaths of clay, which would one day create large wetlands and forest types. The deposits left by the sea preserve the record of the deglacial event and have had an impact on our modern society. Today, those deposits that form the Champlain Sea are farmed, mined for aggregate, and used as a substrate for waste disposal. Buried eskers from the sea also provide potable groundwater. Of course, it's not all good and beneficial. The sediments from the sea also create rapid retrogressive slope failures and applied shaking during earthquakes. Now during its existence, several sea species thrived in the water. Over time, there has been discovery of many whale fossils, including those of beluga, fin whales, and bowhead whales. White whales were the most common large mammal living in the sea, feeding on fish and shellfish. With the abundance of white whales, this means there was a large population of fish in the sea, including cod, eel pout, spoonheads, and long-nosed suckers. It is also believed, based on the fossils, that humpback whales frequented the sea. I hope you enjoyed this quick dive into the history of the Champlain Sea, and if you did, please leave a like and a review. You can reach me at crwbaird at gmail.com, or on Twitter at c-a-r-a-i-g-b-a-i-r-d. You can also see over 200 local history columns and articles that I've written on my website, CanadaX, that's ehx.blogspot.com.